My name is Sean, and I'm one of the engineers on the course builder team. In this video, I'm going to give an overview of the new peer review feature that was introduced in the 1.4 release of Course Builder. In previous releases, Course Builder has shipped with assessments that are graded automatically, such as this post-course assessment. Notice that when you click Check Answers at the bottom, you get feedback immediately. However, this is not always a feasible option. For example, if you want students to submit assignments or essays. So the new feature of peer review in Course Builder allows you to create human-graded assessments for your course. And here's an example that shows it in action. So here's a peer review assignment that has a due date in the future. And that tells me I may only submit the assignment once, because after I submit it, it will become read-only, since it's going to be graded by my peers. I'm asked to plan a three-day trip to a destination I haven't visited. So let's assume that I've already written up a response in a Google Doc. And I'm now going to paste the link here. I'm going to submit the assignment. And I notice that I need to click a true confirmation box that warns me that I cannot resubmit it after I've done so. So now I've completed this assignment. Let's go back to the course page. And let's have a look at the schedule. Notice that the progress circle next to the sample peer review assignment is now full, and that this is now a link that I can click on to review other students' assignments. If I click on this link to view my assignments, I can only view it, and I can no longer edit it. I also see a section here that says Reviews Received. And after I have submitted reviews for the other students, I will be able to see the reviews that other people have given to me over here. So now I go to the review dashboard. And I open up another student's assignment. And I try to grade it. So this is an assignment that's submitted by someone else. And now I can save this review as a draft. And I might want to do this because I might want to look at other students' submissions before finally submitting all the reviews. Because once I submit a review, I cannot edit it again. And now I go ahead and submit this review. I go back to the review dashboard. And I go to my draft review and also submit it. Now we see that I have done two reviews. And in order to earn credit for this assignment, I must complete at least two reviews. So I have completed my quota. So I could choose to review additional assignments if I wanted to. But for now, let's go back to the course page. And let's go back to the assignment I submitted. Now notice that the text at the bottom here, instead of telling me that I need to do two reviews before seeing any other reviews for my assignment, it now tells me that I have just not received any peer reviews yet. And if other students submit reviews for my assignment, these reviews are going to appear here. And I'll be able to view them because I've already completed my review quota. That was a demonstration of the peer review feature from the student's perspective. Now, we'll look at its behavior from the admin perspective. So first, let's look at how a peer review assignment is constructed. It is actually constructed in the same way as a normal assessment, but with several options specified. And this box here, called Assessment Details, shows the options. For a peer review assignment, the grader property must be set to human, and the matcher property to peer. It is also necessary to set due dates, a review window, and a minimum number of submissions to review. So the review window is the time in minutes before an assigned submission may be returned to the pool of submissions and assigned to a new reviewer. You can find more information about these fields in the documentation. If you go all the way to the end, you'll see definitions for each of them, as well as an example that you can copy 
paste in and modify. When you specify a peer review assignment, you also need to specify a reviewer feedback form. This is done in the same way as a regular assessment, but notice that the questions are different. They are meant for the reviewer rather than for the student who submitted the assignment. If you're an admin, you can also view the overall statistics for each peer review assignment by clicking on the Analytics tab in the course dashboard. The chart here shows the number of submissions grouped by the number of reviews they have received. You can recalculate the statistics at any time by clicking Update Statistics in order to get the most up-to-date information. So here we see that two students have received zero reviews, two students have received one review, and one student has received three reviews. Finally, you can also view the submissions for an individual student by clicking on the Peer Review tab. So let's have a look at the submission one of the students in the course, Susie, made. We can see Susie's assignment here, and we can see the feedback that Susie has received. If we wanted to, we could add a new reviewer to Susie's assignment. So as you see below, Mark is now listed as a reviewer, and Susie's assignment will now appear in his review dashboard. We can also remove reviewers if, for example, a student writes to the course creator and complains that a review is spammy. So let's say we wanted to remove this review, for example. We can do that, and it will show as a grayed out review. Now it's important to note that this dashboard here is not the preferred way for assigning reviews, since it's not going to be practical to do it for large classes. The automatic review matching system should take care of review assignments by default. And this dashboard should probably only be used for special cases. This concludes the tour of the peer review feature in Course Builder version 1.4. We hope that you'll find it useful for the courses that you create.